my fellow youtuber welcome back this is marcelina cashier greens.com what a beautiful weekend it is 65 degrees here in ohio so today in this video we're going to build a mini greenhouse today i'm going to show you on how to build a mini greenhouse but before we continue this video i would like to shout out to mike and kate mike we have the same addiction in propagation uh, i propagated a lot of plants in here and propagation is fun especially if you can root the cuttings close to 100 percent and it is an art it is also a science because you're trying to solve a mystery you're trying uh, some ways uh, you're trying to improve your skills improve your knowledge on how to successfully root those cuttings some plants are easy to root while others are difficult to root uh, especially for the roses roses are very challenging plant to propagate and mike was very successful propagating his roses using this this technique and my partner he, he also uses this kind of uh, propagation method and some of the people probably use this type i normally don't use this method and i'm going to explain that to you later on this video why i don't use this method now mike mentioned that when you propagate plants or roses you need to open the lid and i see behind it because if you close the lid you are building too much moisture inside this bottle and then it is not good because the fungus can get in if it is too much moisture fungus loves that that is a host for the fungus a good environment for them now also you want that moisture escaping out because when the plant is started to develop some roots and also develop some foliage or or buds when you take this out it is less stressful for the plants now here's the thing why i don't use this method the reason for that because it is limited so my propagation is limited and also you will be buying a lot of pop just to get this uh, uh, type of propagation it is very limited you can only propagate two plants or two cuttings in this type of container so i'm going to show you on how you can propagate more in more plants using the same uh, ideas so this propagation that i'm going to show it to you comes from the idea of the bottle so let's uh, check it out this is the mini greenhouse my creation of the mini greenhouse comes from the idea of the bottle propagation so what i had here i asked my partner to cut me the wood and the screen that is perfect to the measurement that i want him to uh, to make so what i use here i use the wood this is the cedar wood the cedar wood is durable and it is well treated with copper uh, preventing the wood to rot now i had him measured the length that is perfect for my lid so the measurement in here in this side is 19 and 7 8 and in this side is 10 and a half so it's perfect measurement at the back of this container i use the wire screen this wire screen allows the water to drain properly preventing those cuttings to rot now i found out that the edge of the container is sharp of this wire so i had him to reinforce another piece of wood in here to prevent those sharp wires so now you can see it's smooth doesn't cut me so it is perfect again it's perfect measurement of my lid just like that now you can buy this lid on amazon and probably you can find it in amazon and if not you can go uh, search online if you can find this some of the uh, online store in the hydroponic store i bought this lid from my friend he owns the hydroponic store so i called them and i told him that i need five of this lid so he had uh, he sent me five of them so there are two windows in this lid this uh, opening and closing now when you start your propagation i would recommend in your first week of propagating the cuttings or propagating seeds close the lid thoroughly if you want that moisture inside the moisture uh, perfect mi uh, moisture allows the uh, cuttings to start rotting now in the second week of propagation this is the time that you open the lid a little bit or you can stay it open wide and stay there until the the plant is ready to transplant now when you open the window it releases those moisture that is building up inside so you want to release them so when you transfer your cuttings it is less stressful for the plant okay so this is a perfect for those of you who don't have space 
or if you don't have enough backyard to build your own hope house or greenhouse so at least you can use this one inside your home because this is very affordable it's better than the bottle don't you think so let's load this up all right so we filled our tray with Swillis media so I have the cocoa fiber uh, mixed with perlite and vermiculite so what we're doing here we're going to start propagating plants and I'm going to show you the plants that I'm going to propagate here I have this mere lemon and I have this yellow rose it's beautiful so I can get two of this cutting Okay, so always I always use this uh, clonix gel every time I propagate plants. Just a little bit in here. All right, so I have this cutting here for the rose. So I'm just wanted to show you guys. I'm not uh, uh, sewing. Uh, all propagation in here. I just want to show you so cut your cuttings four to six inch like this one here and I did not uh, take out this uh, Bark in here. I just cut a slit So what you need you dip it in the clonix gel The clonix gel allows you to root the cutting faster and then with your finger With your finger just stick it now make sure that you put uh, if you can bury the two nod in here that's that's great because if you put it too shallow the the moisture or you can the the whole cuttings turns wrinkle they're losing too much moisture in there so make sure that you bury them deeper and then you post it down that's it then after that you label them so you know what cuttings you propagate and then water the plants so make sure when you uh, propagate your cuttings allow four inches apart because when they start rooting you don't want them to tangle their root to one another and it's hard for you to remove them from the soil hey ma how many videos subscriptions did we get today i don't know yo nothing nothing shoot man y'all better start subscribing or we're gonna quit making all these doggone videos for y'all really helps our channel y'all idiots yeah subscribe and like and share that mother yo that's what i'm thinking yo oh man a hillbilly filipina that's pitiful ma pitiful ma properly you need to soak that water you want to close this or open it close so after you water your plants then uh, close with the lid and make sure you close the window okay so that's the mini greenhouse this is the end of our video for today and if you like the video consider to subscribe also don't forget uh, to share to all your friends and if you want to see other videos on propagation just check the video at the end of this video below on this screen and also i would encourage you guys to uh, get the clonix gel when you propagate your cuttings because this product is is very active and it helps you root your cuttings uh, more cutting successfully so thank you for watching and see you next week adios